बुलेटिन इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय टी बी इंडिया लीडिंग ट्रेवल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्लेटफॉर्म नमस्कार दिस इज निर्जा एंड यू आर लिस्निंग टू ट्रेवल वर्ल्ड ऑनलाइन न्यूज हाईलाइट ऑफ द डे टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री एस्पायर्स टू अचीव जी डी पी ऑफ थ्री ट्रिलियन यू एस डॉलर बाई टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी सेवन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम ऑफ एयर इंडिया एक्सप्रेस एंड एयर एशिया इंडिया इंटीग्रेटेड एच आर ए डब्ल्यू आई होस्ट सेमिनार्स फोकसिंग ऑन जी एस टी इम्पैक्ट ऑन हॉस्पिटैलिटी सेक्टर स्काई एयर बिकम्स फर्स्ट एवर इंडियन कंपनी टू ज्वाइन गुटमा लेमन ट्री पार्टनर्स विद वेडिंग डॉट इन टू बूस्ट बैंक विद सेल्स हॉन्ग कॉन्ग टूरिज्म ओवरव्यू टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री रिटर्न इन फिजिकल अफ्तार नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल्स Ministry of Tourism MOT successfully organized a two-day Chintan Shivir on tourism in mission mode with industry stakeholders aspiring for 3 trillion US dollars tourism GDP by 2047. The event was also utilized to deliberate key aspects of developing tourism in the country. Additional Secretary Ministry of Tourism Rakesh Verma stressed that three things including active participation of states public private partnerships and convergence of government programs are key to achieving the benefits of tourism in mission mode verma also presented the national strategy for mice industry with emphasis on governance and institutional frameworks infrastructure and financing and the meet in india brand during the deliberations states presented their views and plans to promote tourism anil kumar sahu md chatisgarh tourism board said The government of Chhattisgarh has identified 158 acres of land that will be leased for attracting tourism in the state. They will also get a 50% subsidy in their leasing. We invite tourism stakeholders to come and participate in the bidding. We want to make Hyderabad a one-stop destination and solution for mice tourism. We ensure that the state government participates in the conferences held in the state and not just look over. said sandeep kumar sultania secretary government of telangana youth advancement tourism and culture department karnataka has multiple offerings and is blessed with coastal areas on one side forests plains and more on the other the central and our schemes are implemented to augment our facilities we are leveraging our infrastructure to increase tourist growth The state of Karnataka is using the funds to enhance the tourism infrastructure, mainly connectivity, which we believe is key to driving tourism, said Dr. Ram Prasad Manohar B, Director, Department of Tourism, Government of Karnataka. The Air India Group recently announced that it has completed a significant milestone in the integration of its two low-cost subsidiary airlines, Air India Express and Air Asia India. On 27th March 2023, the two low-cost airlines moved to a single, unified reservation system and website, and adopted common social media and customer support channels. This migration, which largely involved Air India Express migrating to the systems used by Air Asia India, confers significant capability and efficiency benefits for the airline and passengers. In particular, passengers are now able to make and manage bookings and check into Air Asia India and Air India Express domestic and international flights on an all new integrated website airindiaexpress.com. This system merger comes 5 months after Air Asia India was fully acquired and subsidized under Air India and 3 months after both Air Asia India and Air India Express were placed under a single CEO. In the coming months, the airlines will continue integrating other internal systems and eventually their air operating permits and regulatory posts. Commenting on the development, Campbell Wilson, CEO and MD, Air India said, the integration of the core reservations and passenger facing systems of Air India Express and Air Asia India marks a significant milestone in the Air India Group's transformation journey. This new Air India Express operating both domestically and internationally using systems optimized for low cost airlines gives the group a much stronger LCC platform. Together with the group's recent benchmark setting aircraft order, this sets the scene for us to realize many new opportunities for customers, employees and Indian aviation. 
The integration of Air India Express and Air India will bring revenue, cost, and operational benefits through broader adoption of each airline's best practices, systems, and routes, and con for greater economies of scale. The new Air India Express will focus on leisure-oriented and price-sensitive markets while improving connectivity between key domestic cities and Air India's fast-expanding international network, he added. AirAsia India flies to 19 destinations across the country while Air India Express operates to 14 international destinations from 19 Indian cities. The Hotel and Restaurant Association of Western India HRAWI, recently hosted two special seminars focused on goods and services tax GST, and its effects on the hospitality industry. Titled, Bird's Eye View 5 Years of GST in Hotel and Restaurant Industry, the seminars were held at the Mirdo Hotel in Mumbai on 20th March and later at the Fern Residency in Bhopal on 23rd March 2023. The sessions were conducted by CA Zineet Asha, who has over 15 years of practice in chartered accountancy. Rishi Mehra, the owner of the Mirdo Hotel, Mumbai, Gurbir Bedi, Chairman of Seminar and Business Matters Liaison Subcommittee, HRAWI, and CA Zineet Shah inaugurated the seminar held in Mumbai. In Bhopal, the seminar was inaugurated by Navneet Goyal, Chief Commissioner of Customs and GST, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, Prabhat Dandotia, Additional Commissioner Preventive, Bhopal Commissionerate, Tez Kulpal Singh from Bhopal Hoteliers Association, Sumit Suri, Executive Committee Member of HRAWI, and the State Coordinator of Madhya Pradesh and Parmajit Singh Bhai, Office Bearer and Honorary Treasurer of HRAWI. The seminars deep dived into the several aspects of GST applicable to hotels and restaurants and addressed quite a few lesser known facts about the new taxation regime. 87 hospitality professionals from both Mumbai and Bhopal participated in the seminar in their respective cities. The GST was introduced on 1st July 2017 as a comprehensive tax reform that aimed to simplify the indirect tax structure in the country. The hotel and restaurant industry was one of the sectors that were affected by the implementation of GST. The industry was previously subject to multiple taxes including service tax, VAT and luxury tax, but the introduction of GST simplified taxes with a single tax. However, taxes inherently are a complicated subject especially for the hospitality industry, and so, we thought that after five years under the new tax regime, it was a good time to reflect on how it has worked out so far, said Pradeep Shetty, President, HRAWI. As a hotelier, I found the seminar particularly helpful in clarifying the nuances of GST compliance and identifying areas where we can improve our processes. The case studies presented were relevant and insightful. Thank you again to HRAWI for a job well done, said Mehra. Sky Air, the pioneers of uncrewed traffic management UTM, services in India, for the safe and efficient operation of drones in the airspace has announced that it has joined the Global UTM Association, GUTMA, a non-profit consortium of worldwide UTM stakeholders. Gutma's mission is to foster the safe, secure, and efficient integration of drones in national airspace systems by supporting and accelerating the transparent implementation of globally interoperable UTM systems. As a member of Gutma, Sky Air will work alongside other industry leaders to shape the future of UTM systems and ensure that the safe integration of drones in the national airspace is achieved. Sky Air recognizes the importance of developing global standards and interoperability to create a safe and efficient airspace environment for both manned and unmanned aircraft. We are excited to join the Global UTM Association and work with other industry leaders to drive forward the adoption of safe and secure UTM systems, said Ankit Kumar, CEO, Sky Air. As a member of Gutma, we are committed to ensuring that our solutions align with global standards and best practices to help advance the integration of drones into the national airspace. Sky UTM is set to help the Indian drone ecosystem grow at a rapid pace with wider adoption across sectors.
The proprietary Sky Tunnel is a game changer for air taxi and drone delivery operations allowing tunnel-based navigation throughout. Kone D. Woz, Secretary General, Gutma said, the Global UTM Association warmly welcomes Sky Air Mobility Sky UTM as our first Indian member. Sky UTM's experience in the Indian airspace will provide an invaluable contribution to Gutma's efforts in promoting global regulatory and standards harmonization. We are excited to have Sky UTM as part of our community and look forward to working together towards a future of seamless and sustainable drone operations. Sky UTM is dedicated to providing safe and reliable UA solutions for a wide range of industries, including air taxi, delivery, agriculture, inspection, and surveillance verticals. With the goal of enhancing operational efficiency, Sky UTM continues to push the boundaries of innovation in the unmanned aerial systems industry. Sky UTM platform uses advanced technologies, such as artificial intelligence and tunnel-based navigation, to manage and monitor drone operations, ensuring compliance with regulations and minimizing risks of collisions with other drones or manned aircraft. Weddings.in India's largest online platform offering wedding venues and related services, announced a strategic alliance with Lemon Tree Hotels. As a part of this collaboration, Weddings.in will help boost revenue, drive demand and sales, and increase the fill rate of banquets and event spaces in Lemon Tree Hotels in more than 40 destinations across the country, including Delhi NCR, Jaipur, Kolkata, Lucknow, Bhuvneshwar, Mumbai, Pune and more. Lemon Tree venues will feature prominently on the Weddings Dotton platform, which gets over 19 lakh prospective customers per month as India's largest wedding venue marketplace. Weddings will craft specific targeted campaigns and undertake search engine marketing and performance marketing campaigns to drive higher interest. Weddings Dotton will also assign a dedicated venue manager who will provide end-to-end -end services for the customer such as event management services, assistance with vendor requirements, venue recce and on-ground support during the event. Speaking about the partnership, Aditya Sharma, country head, Weddings Dotton said, We have millions of visitors searching our platform not just for wedding venues but also for other events such as parties, conferences, meetings and more. Our survey shows that over 60% of our customers search online for venue prospecting. With this collaboration, we are certain that Lemon Tree Hotels will benefit from access to such a large customer base looking for high-quality event venues. Besides this, we have a dedicated team that specializes in banquet sales and marketing, and we are confident that we will be able to create a positive impact and in turn, build a long-term association with Lemon Tree. Harleen Mehta, Senior Vice President, Sales, Lemon Tree Hotels said, we are thrilled to partner with Weddings.in, a platform that offers unique and innovative services not just to wedding venue seekers but also to top corporate customers across the country. We are confident that we will be able to offer end-to-end -end services to all our existing clients and bring in new ones, thereby creating an additional revenue channel for our hotels. Weddings.in is one of India's largest one-stop shop platforms with over 35k banquet venue listings and other related ancillary services. Customers can choose from a host of venues and other services on the platform and can seek help from our dedicated venue managers who can help them curate the event to their liking, all within their budget. The Hong Kong Tourism Board HKTB, held the Hong Kong Tourism Overview 2023 in Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center returning physically for the first time since the city is back to normal. The tourism overview discussed tourism trends and shared details of the HKTBS latest strategic plans with more than 1,600 participants on-site and online, including trade representatives from Hong Kong, mainland and overseas travel agencies, attractions, hotels, airlines, retailers, restaurants, meeting and exhibition operators, cruise lines, and other travel sectors. With the theme striding forward in a steady recovery, Dr. Pang Yokai, Chairman, HKTB said, Hong Kong has returned to normal and is welcoming back global visitors. 
the tourism industry will recover progressively. The Tourism Overview today is the exact platform that gathers members of the travel trade together to explore the way to revive the city's tourism industry. Hong Kong is not only a destination with universal appeal and an astonishing array of attractions, but also a gateway between the mainland and the rest of the world. We can work with neighboring cities to build a greater Bay Area tourism brand for the region and the international market. With the continued collaboration of all sectors, we can bring Hong Kong's tourism to the next level of excellence. Dane Cheng, HKTB Executive Director introduced HKTBS four strategic focuses for the coming year. First, the HKTB will drive a strong recovery across all travel-related sectors, while strengthening Hong Kong as an event capital. In addition, the HKTB will continue to develop Greater Bay Area GBA, tourism and multi-destination tourism with cities in GBA. The HKTB will also maintain a close partnership with the trade to gear up and strengthen support for them, enhancing service quality. In addition, the HKTB also invited industry leaders and international corporate representatives to share insights on the themes a deep dive into the post-pandemic mainland travel trends and global and regional consumer trends affecting tourism in Asia in 2023, providing multi-perspective insights into the post-pandemic trends and development of tourism and capturing new opportunities. That's all in Bulletin. For the latest updates, keep listening to Travel World Online Radio with you always. Kabhi bhi, kahi bhi. This program is brought to you by TBO, India's leading travel distribution platform.